Here's probably the wildest beer story of all time. Back in 1814, a brewery in London had one of their 22 feet tall barrel fermentation tanks erupt, spilled with porter, and 100,000 gallons came out. It busted off the back wall of this brewery, which then flooded a nearby area and actually killed eight people. Five of the people were at the wake of a two-year-old. A very, very slight silver lining was after this incident, the brewing industry did start removing these giant barrels from being used because clearly they could not hold the amount of liquid that was being stored in them. They were pretty dangerous. So there's, there's that. So we all know this look of witches, right? The pointed hats, the steaming, the cauldrons of liquid, and of course the black cats. But a lot of historians are actually starting to believe these weren't witches, they were actually brewsters. The pointed hats were meant so they could stand out in a crowd. The cauldrons probably were actually beer that they were brewing. And the black cats, or really any cat, keep the mice away from the grains. Kind of makes a lot of sense when you think about it. How did the Salem witch trials and beer correlate? As many historians are doing more and more research, they think some of the hallucinations and side effects that they were seeing from the potions that were brewed were actually symptoms of a fungal infection from infected rye. And so this, this rye would be in the breads uh, and then of course the beer. Although this has a lot of facts behind it that it could be part of the cause of the witch trials, you have religion and social pressures that were happening going on that also contributed. So it's not just because of this fungal infection, but it probably played a pretty big part. Back in 1852, the Molson Brewery in Canada actually burnt down. There's a fire that broke out nearby, uh, spread through the entire city, actually burnt down about half of the houses, leaving 10,000 people homeless. Uh, the brewery itself was able to bounce back because it was made of a lot of stone and bricks. And so like it actually was in decently good shape. They're able to rebuild and get back to production fairly quickly. During the Black Death in Europe, Beer was actually the drink of choice because it was considered safer to drink. And a lot of the doctors were consuming a pretty good amount of beer for safety reasons. And I can only imagine that might not have gone so well for some people. Which brewery is the most unlucky or maybe cursed brewery in the world? I gotta give it to Anchor Brewing. They had two different buildings burned down. One in 1906 after the earthquakes that happened in San Fran. The other happened in 1934 in their new building right after Prohibition was lifted. Just getting back on their feet and that sucker burnt right down. Unfortunate. Some bad luck. 